Hello RuneScape, we'll miss it here with a new video on how is everyone doing? Very recently, a gem was confirmed on Twitter that the free table high scores will be returning on this Monday. And the free table high scores was removed, I believe, in 2010 or something like that, which is quite a while ago. And it was removed because of the massive number of bots and such in the game, which is quite unfortunate, obviously. But luckily, now that Jagas has been doing such a massively great job of removing the bots from the game, which have worked as well, Jagas can finally bring back to free to play high scores and let free to play players be able to see their own rank and position in the game. Now what this probably will mean is that there will be some changes to the RuneScape high scores. I'm not really sure how the free to play players will be kind of shown on the high scores, but my guess is that they either will have their new kind of I guess um, either a new section to their own kind of self, just a few of them will probably be added. Like I can imagine that only the ones with like certain amount of XP or a certain amount of levels or like a certain time of activity would be shown on the high score. For example, let's say that only free to play players that have been logged in the last three months will be able to be shown on the high scores. And from that even, it will probably be like like it was before. Only the top 2 million people in a skill or something like that. And to be fair, that's something that I can see being quite realistic. And I wouldn't mind that. I'm just really happy that free to play actually would have their spot on the high scores after this long. What I personally want to see is an option to actually toggle free to play and members from the high score. At the moment, you can't only see members on the high score. But imagine that if you could just click a couple of buttons and you will only see the active free to players on the high scores. And if you toggle that again or toggle on members at the same time, you can see both members and free to play to create a realistic version of the high scores how it would be today, which I think is a very cool thing to be able to do. And hopefully that's how they're going to kind of work it out, I guess, because I do think they're going to be a little bit sneak about it and do some tricky things to be like, hey, you should totally subscribe to our game and everything, because they do that sometimes, which is quite unfortunate in some situations, but I can understand why they do it. But still, I do hope that free-to-play will have a valuable position on the high scores, which is how it should be. I mean, a lot of the free-to-play players are very enthusiastic community players. They're training their skills and they're getting good at the game. And, of course, some of them who play uh, free-to-play at the moment are kind of just trying out the game and everything. And if they train a lot, maybe they get a few skills and everything, which might be enough for high scores. But to be fair, free-to-play contains a lot of players that are purely focused on free-to-play. They can't necessarily pay for the game. And I think that they should have, these kind of veteran players should have their own spot in the high score. So they serve to kind of see what position and rank they are in. Which, which I hope this update will solve. But yeah guys, I'm really excited to see how this will look. I'm really excited to see the free to play high scores becoming back on RuneScape. It's a great thing. And I really hope that it will work out successfully for everyone. So everyone will be happy about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. My name is Wolmisit and I'll see you guys later.